Okay, so here comes the procession. Uh, the black car in the front was Nick and Joe, our neighbors, and here's uh, John in the in the company truck, and here comes the, the pool. Uh, apparently, it's quite a sight coming through Puerto Amoyas. Uh, pool's wider than most of the roads coming in here, so next trick is to fit this truck, a pool that's almost 15 foot wide, to a gate that's about 15 foot wide, not including the birds on the stop, on the top they're sticking out. So it took a bit of uh, back and forth and discussion to, uh, <laughs> to get it to get it through the gate, um, but I'm going to safely do now. <clears throat> they're back in, of course. You got to worry about the house. You got big front of the gate. You got um, plants on both sides, which. We decided if they need to run over the plants, they can. They'll grow back. So, but the front end of this truck is so heavy. It's got real big. This truck, this truck is way heavier built than what they haul with it. It's the only only truck they can find, I guess. So, uh, they so the front axle's got the engine and this huge crane sitting on it, so it's real heavy. So they need to cut it really hard to the left. So uh, the guys put the downriggers down and get the front end off the ground. So he can see, so he, he he'll come back here in a minute. He can't even get through that side because he's right up next to the gate. But so they'll cut the uh, tires real sharp here. They do this a couple times um, on the way in here, just because it, it just won't steer. The ground's soft. We just had an inch and a half of rain night before last, so uh, he's getting the downriggers down. You can see the front of the truck coming up. And then he'll crank it around here in a minute. And, and, uh, comes around. He kind of has to drive up on the sidewalk there. And he cuts it so tight. And we're a little worried, but the drive tires <clears throat> didn't do anything to the sidewalk. Uh, gets around, but then when he cuts it back the other way, uh, he catches it with a steer axle. And uh, we'll be doing a little concrete work on the sidewalk because it's kind of in... in uh, Crumbled up now, but uh, that's easy stuff. So spend a little time here back and forth just trying to get straight. As he's back next to the house, we've got trees on on the one side, and then as he goes a little farther here, he's got a big tree on one side and another tree on the other side. So I'm still a little amazed they were able to get in here. Um, we had a couple other ideas, but... Uh, the worst of them was he said we could bring a big crane and then lift it over the house, but I'm sure they do that for free. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have to do that. So as he backs in here, uh, get you can see the trees there. He's kind of dodging, but uh, there's a casita on the right, the guest house we're building. So uh, anyway, he gets back in here after a little goofing around and gets down close to where we're going to put the pool and and. Uh, get the straps off here and get the crane extended out <clears throat> sling it off to the side and they set it there now they have a either back or an excavator coming in next week uh, and that's when the installation will start it takes a couple days to dig the hole and install the pool and then another day or two with plumbing and then we'll have probably a week of uh, some concrete work and tile work and filling the pool and then it might be closed so uh, all in all, it was a pretty successful day, and uh, it's, we had a little wind here. I think it's kind of blowing the pool around. So, yeah, I think we would get her set down. Up there it goes. Anyway. We'll get her set down here. And, We'll start next week, get it uh, done, and there you are, Barbara, happy, closing in her new pool. So, well, that's it.